Hey guys, Larry the Tractor Guy here. Hey, we're out on a call this afternoon, uh, way down south here in Oklahoma, and I've got a customer with a 9410R tractor, and then also a 1910 air cart with an 1890 tool, no seating tool, no-till seating tool, and we've got some electrical issues, and I'll show you a little bit about what we got going on here real quick, so stick with me here. So one of the problems we got going on here with this 1910, 10 cart is that we're not reading a seed rate up on the display and the customers already swapped out the front and the rear speed sensors here and uh, still can't get a rate up on the display okay and then they've done a little bit of wiring job here uh, rewiring the can and the uh, communication wiring up to the cab because they had a problem in the tone of the front of the cart here with the wiring and uh, the cedar is up on the display okay and then also what they're requesting here is up back here on the 1890 seating tool they're wanting to do away with their blockage uh, if you can see they put new hoses on their drill and they're basically wanting to do away with their blockage and didn't put any of the blockage sensors back on the towers okay so we're going to go ahead and uh, help them out with that for sure and I've got a little jumper harness where we're gonna go ahead and leave this plugged in, but we're gonna unplug the cedar here, okay, and plug in a CAN bus terminator that'll end that communication link here at the back of the cart, which will in turn do away with the blockage system on the tool. So here is my jumper harness that we're gonna use here to eliminate the blockage on the tool. And if you're ever needing to actually test to see if you've got a problem with the tool, you know, if you've got a tow behind tool, real quick way to eliminate that blockage being a problem on your communication is installing this little jumper here with a uh, CAN bus terminator. I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. Okay, but this is an RE-232. Okay, we're gonna plug that in, plug in a terminator on this end, and basically go around our blockage and not have any blockage communicating on the communication link any longer. We've got a terminator here, it is an RE207311. Okay, looks like this. Okay, that would be your can terminator and then your plug. Okay, so we're gonna plug that in there real quick. And now we've just got a quick jumper that we're gonna plug in and bypass that blockage on that tool at the back of the car okay so stay tuned and we'll look at this a little closer and see what we can figure out on this car well, we're in the tractor now we went ahead and verified uh the settings going into setup and looking at the air card and looking at his front and rear meters to make sure that we have a cowl number there we'll go to the front tank um, he's doing uh he's doing dimonium phosphate in the front in the front tank at 80 pound rate we've got a cowl number there we've got a transmission setting everything looks good um, we go to the rear tank he's got the black roll um, got a cowl number in there doing 80 pounds of wheat and uh, so we got pretty good uh, we, we've got pretty good settings in here everything set up looks like right okay so we're gonna go ahead and run a little bit and see what's going on I did verify that the main drive clutch is working uh, we're going to go ahead and drive a little bit, make sure that we have speed, and make sure that that works like it's supposed to. And we'll take a look at that. And then also, we want to take a look at why um, his mapping is not being triggered on and off. And so we'll look at that setting too here in just a few minutes. We're moving in the field here, and what I've noticed real quick right off of the bat is as soon as I put the openers in the ground with my number one remote, my main drive clutch does come on like it's supposed to, okay, but we don't have any tire speed here coming from our cart. So that's gonna be probably one of our primary problems with the cart is gonna be not showing any ground speed. So we're gonna go back and take a look at that ground speed sensor. So stay tuned and we'll let you know what we find out here. Came back to the back of the cart here and the wheel speed sensor is gonna be on the left-hand side of the cart. Okay, on the left hand wheel here you see your main drive clutch back here on the back side and then on the front side you've got your 
wheel speed sensor here. Now keep in mind, I have found this a few times too. Uh, this is not the case today, but there is a bearing in here that runs on this gear. And I have had that bearing out before and then rubbed the sensor and caused the sensor to become damaged and not read speed anymore. Okay, but looking at this, we found real quick that the wiring going to the sensor on the sensor side, if you can see that, is not in a really, really good shape. And then we've got a broken wire, which is our voltage, our power wire, to our speed sensor on the cart side, okay? So basically, we're gonna have to install a new sensor and then probably go ahead and install a new connector on the cart side. Got our new terminals crimped on our wires here on the cart side. We've got our new speed sensor here that we're gonna install on the wheel hub housing here. And uh, just a real quick, pretty simple to think about, but the wires are the same color on the sensor end as the harness end on the tool. So just be mindful of that if you're ever installing a new connector and or new sensor or even if you're wiring around that to just go color to color okay just keep that in mind we got our new connector in put on on the cart side got our new sensor plugged in here on the left rear wheel of the cart here uh, we're gonna go run the tractor i believe that's probably gonna fix our problem with our meter speed here not showing up and giving us a rate and also um, fix our mapping problem okay back here on our tool not mapping in the field okay i think that'll that'll do the job there give us cart speed so we'll go up and look at that we're in the field now and I can see real quick on the display there if you can see that that we have cart speed now okay and as a result of as a result of having cart speed now we're showing our rate now we don't actually have any seat in the tank so we're just kind of manipulating the system here to make sure everything's working and then also, if you can see here, we're actually mapping in the field now. So we've fixed several different problems here by just fixing the cart speed, okay? So take, keep that in mind, that cart speed is pretty important and does a lot of stuff for the seating tool. Quick recap on the 1910 air cart and the 1890 seating tool, okay? Uh, that the customer had here that was not showing a rate a seating rate on his display and then also uh, his complaint was he wasn't mapping in the field so it wasn't painting behind the tool as they were seating okay everything seemed to be coming on but no rate and no map and then also he wanted to bypass this blockage so we went ahead and bypassed this blockage by installing that pigtail that i talked about earlier and also a can bus terminator okay so that uh, the communication link ends at the back of the cart rather than going all the way through the blockage controller on the tool and we did that at his request um, not always the best thing to do uh, because you really don't know if you have a blockage at that point but they've had a lot of wiring trouble on the tool and a lot of age on the tool it's got 40,000 acres on the drill so he's decided that he wanted to do that so we went ahead and helped him out with that and then also what we found on the cart was that we didn't have any ground speed, no mile per hour on the cart. Okay, and as a result of that, the meters would turn, but they would not show a rate, and then also the seating tool uh, would not map, okay? And so if the cart doesn't have ground speed, then it really doesn't know what to do as far as counting seed or counting the revolutions of the meters and or mapping so we fixed all of those problems by installing a new wheel speed sensor on the left hand drive wheel of the cart okay and then also that fixed his problem with his mapping and his rate okay and uh, so just keep that in mind that you do have to have good cart speed on these uh, air seeders and um, anyway hope you enjoyed the video hope it helps you out along the way and Larry the Tractor Guy signing out. Hey guys, check out Larry the Tractor Guy videos here, other videos here, subscribe here, and buy all your John Deere parts here. We'll make it work. I think we're gonna have to make it. We'll make it work. Come on, let's go. We need to make you need some bloopers. You already, you already, burn, you already burned me out. He's sitting in the sun over here, man.